30 second rosary story. Uh, when was the first time that you got a rosary or do you have a rosary story? I have tons of rosaries. We hang them in the car, we bring them everywhere. When we drive, but we pray the rosary together. Uh, it's, I think it's really powerful. Although I have to say, I have a very good memory, but sometimes I get caught and I forget. You know, and here I am a Catholic talk show host with a total you know, disclosure. Sometimes I forget the mysteries. And so I put in my little rosary bag, I put the little guide and I pull it out. I honestly say that for whatever reason, sometimes I get a mental block, but you know, Mary's there and I say, okay, help me. And I pull out my little guide and I'm good. But I have so many different rosaries, but there are a few favorite ones. Oh, and I have one from Avila. Uh, of course, I was named after St. Teresa of Avila. So she's my favorite saint. So that one is also very special to me. This is a rosary that was brought back to me by my uh, girlfriend. She uh, actually helps with Rosary Our Podcast and directs, and she brought it back from Rome. And I carried that with me through some really hard times in my life. Uh, so with the rosary, uh, my first rosary was given to me by my mother, and it was a beautiful pale blue rosary. Um, but um, I did have a close relationship with Our Lady growing up, but I did have a time in my life I strayed a bit. Uh, probably from about age 16 to about age 20. Um, I strayed a bit, but then I came back and then I've made it a habit of praying the rosary every day. I'm Keith Nestor and you're listening to the Rosary Hour Podcast. This is Father Chris Alar, the Provincial Superior of the Marian Fathers here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. And it's great to be part of the Rosary Hour podcast. This mini-series on the Rosary is an invitation for anyone dedicated to deepening the why behind our prayers. And with that intention, a chance to offer to the Mother of God a genuine desire for change of heart and return to God. Thank you and enjoy, and God bless you. You can subscribe to the Rosier Podcast by going to rosierpodcast.substack.com. That's rosierpodcast.substack.com. Father Peter, because we didn't, even though I grew up in an Italian uh, neighborhood and I have the soul of an Italian, I, and I married an Italian, I am not going to try to speak Italian. Sono le mamme a trasmettere la fede. La fede si trasmette in dialetto, cioè con linguaggio delle mamme, quel dialetto che le mamme sanno parlare con i figli. E voi mamme state attenti a trasmettere la fede in quel dialetto materno. And pray for the soul to work going to die because that's when they need that prayer so much at that moment when they are going to die so that they turn to God in those moments and the chaplet is a very powerful prayer Jesus told St. Faustina that his mercy is opened up for the whole world and that is a beautiful time and a powerful time to ask for his mercy so great so what what's, what are the questions you want to ask um, the first question is, what's your favorite fast food? My favorite fast food? Well, I, I can't eat fast food anymore. <laughs> I used to eat uh, fast food, but I, I can't eat fast food anymore. But I used to like, I hate to say this, I used to like McDonald's and Subway <laughs> were my two favorite. Good one. <laughs> um, next question is, what's your favorite saint? We wish to welcome Teresa Tomio, author of Everything's Coming Up Rosie from the United States of America and responding for today's Rosary Broadcast live record panel is Dr. Josephine Lombardi from St. Augustine Seminary in Scarborough, Canada.